Now imagine having an app that's almost like After Effects, but on your Android phone. Well, there's a new one called A Light Motion. It's in beta at the moment. You can do incredible things. It can do multi-layers, text, animate, almost anything you can want. And its founder is Matthew Feinberg. So I asked him to talk us through it. I'm Matthew Feinberg. Uh, I'm the uh, CEO and lead engineer for Light Creative. Um, we're a new company. We started in January and we've just launched uh, in beta a new app one week ago called A Light Motion. And A Light Motion is a motion graphics app um, for smartphones. It's on Android now. We hope to have iOS uh, late this year or very early next year. And what motion graphics uh, means is you can do animation, um, you can do uh, video uh, visual effects, video compositing, um, and that means you can build your own uh, lower thirds, your intro, intro graphics, you could do chroma key and so on. So you'd use this together with say another app like uh, uh, KineMaster that would let you do uh, uh, editing. This lets you build your, um, your, your visual effects and other resources to use with, uh, with that. Let me show you, uh, we, I have a lot of demo projects in here obviously, I've been doing a bunch of demos, but um, here's a, a, a small demo reel I put together earlier. Um, just showing some of the things that are possible. So here's an animation I did that I, I repeated and reused the animation using masks. Another mask animation. Um, this was all done uh, inside the app. And here's showing the multiple video layers. And you can see here that when I'm uh, scrubbing back and forth on the timeline, it's extremely smooth. There's, uh, when you're doing precise editing, that lets you very easily grab the frame you want for a cut, uh, for example. And you can see over here, this bottom one that starts out with the same color uh, as the original, but as we go over time, that's changing. That's a, a huge shift, and that's being had a keyframe applied to it. Everything in the app, from opacity to your border thickness to your color, can have keyframe effects applied. Um, here's a color keyframe uh, being applied here. You can see those color, the colors up here are changing over time, and the text color as it moves up has also been keyframed and changed over time. What I'll do is I'll start by creating a, uh, a new project, and you can see that we have uh, uh, landscape, vertical video, square video is all supported. If you want to, you can actually enter um, your, the, whatever uh, uh, size you want. Uh, I'm going to go over here to just a regular uh, landscape project. Um, we also support 25 uh, FPS, of course. Um, and uh, I'll start with a simple animation first. I'm just going to add a, uh, a shape on the, on the canvas here. And um, uh, I'll put that over here on the side. Um, and then I'll add a keyframe, and you can see now that this, this line is the, um, the, the, the motion path. That's where it's going to move. So if I play this uh, video, you can see it moves along that, uh, that path. Now what I can do is I can grab these keyframes, and I can move them around. So if I move them closer together, we're going to get faster motion because it occurs between those keyframes. Now, of course, if you want something more fluid, then um, you'll want to do an easing curve here. And an easing curve. This is, this lets us, basically we're gonna speed up and then slow down. Um, so you can see there, uh, that motion is a lot more natural now that it's, it's going to speed up and slow down. Of course, if you had an actual video recording, something moving is going to blur. And um, we can do the same thing in here by adding a motion blur. Now, this effect system is actually a plugin system and we're going to be opening this up for third parties to create their own effects as well. But in this case, I just had a motion blur. This blur is based on the velocity uh, at that particular time. So you can see here in the middle when it's moving fast, we have more blur. And where it's stationary, we have uh, less uh, blur. Um, now, let me show you what you can do when you add some uh, visual content to the project. So I'm going to go in here and uh, just pick a, a photo. And I will uh, add a, a zoom effect to this photo. So I'll just keyframe the beginning and uh, add a, a keyframe at the end here. So you can see now that I have a uh, just a zoom effect on that. And um, now we we'll, we'll do a transition to another uh, photo. Uh, we also support video, of course, but in, in this particular beta, I'm being a little bit careful. Uh, so uh, just come in here and add another. Uh, you can see this is a, sec a second layer on top that I've added. Um, and uh, if I want to do a simple fade animation, I can just keyframe the opacity. So I'll add a keyframe here and take the opacity uh, down there. And uh, you see when I play the video now, I'll have a fade between those two. Um, let me undo that. And uh, we can also do multiply or screen. So you can see here, I've combined uh, uh, the two images using different uh, blending modes. So you can get some interesting effects doing that. But um, let's do something a little bit more advanced. I'm going to add a shape here. 
uh, and I'm going to, uh, again, I'll keyframe the size of this shape, and I'm going, to use this as, I'm going to use this as a mask. So I'll start by adding a couple of keyframes here. Let's fill the screen with that. So bring that all the way up to fill the screen. Um, and so now what I have is I have a, uh, this, uh, this motion. Actually, let's move that back so it's right at the beginning of the project there. Um, so what I'll do now is I'm going to select that layer and the one behind it and, oops, and create a masking group. And uh, you can see now that has now masked the, so I have a transition from one to the other. Now, besides the, the circle, let me delete that. Um, this particular device is a, is a Galaxy uh, Note, um, so I can use a stylus. This will work without a stylus too, but this is a little more convenient. I'm just going to draw and cover up the video like this, just going back and forth. And uh, then catch these little extra spots there. So now what I can do with this is I can now animate that effect. So again, go into the effects library. This is the same place we found motion blur. We have a drawing progress effect here. And this gives me a slider that lets me adjust how much of that has been drawn. So I can go back to the beginning here. I'll add a keyframe and I'll have it draw in that layer over time. So now if I play, you can see it's filling that in. Well, what I actually want to do with that is I, I want to use that as a mask. So same thing, select both of those layers come in here and create a, masking, create a masking group. And so now I've created a custom transition effect. Where you can see um, that's a bit fast. So of course you could do the same thing with just adjusting the keyframes on that. Um, let me delete these two and just go back to a single image here. Um, we have the ability to save uh, lay, uh, groups of layers you've created under uh, this elements panel to reuse again later. So here's one I made before. It's a title effect. Um, and this title effect was actually made um, entirely in the app. Um, what I did is just take a, uh, a square, go into the edit points mode where I can edit the outline, and you can see that now I can, I can add points, and I can create this uh, sort of uh, L shape. And then uh, we just select the L shape, make a copy of it, um, and rotate that copy to 180 degrees. And now you can see this is the same thing I used before. You combine that with the same masking effect I already showed you, and you can create um, that uh, uh, title effect. So let me show you the text, uh, the text system here. So I'll add a, a text layer. I'll say hello, Mojo Fest. And um, let me adjust the size. So one of the things that, that we did differently here is, of course, you can add a scaling effect to this layer afterwards and get any size you want. But we've also done a point size system, so if you're trying to match this up across your project, you can, you can do that much easier. And um, you can adjust where the text is wrapping. So if you're creating a lower thirds effect you're going to reuse, you can set up uh, whether you want it to, the text to shrink down as you add more or you want it to wrap as you add more and so on. Um, you can adjust the color, of, uh, of course, of the text. And right now we have, um, uh, uh, this is uh, temporary in the beta. We're actually going to be supporting um, every single font that's available on the fonts.google.com. So that's 800 different fonts that will all be available to use in the app. And you can, will be able to import your own uh, true type font file as well if you want to uh, uh, use that. Um, and uh, of course, you can use the text like any other layer as a mask. So if you want to mask the video inside your text, you can do that. If you want to add a, an outline around it, you can do that as well.